Hi, hi, hello, and welcome to this video. It's me, Shay. And so, you know, a lot of people make New Year's resolutions. I kind of never do that because I tend to forget them. But I thought, you know what, let's try anyways. I don't know why, but this year I thought I was the Lulu enough to actually set some goals. <laughs> So the first one I kind of thought about while I was filming the last video, it was a vlog where I was basically world building and I fell down the rabbit hole for this old comic again that I never started making, but because I didn't have enough time, but I still want to do it. So um, I'm now the Lulu enough to think that I'll be able to complete enough world building and character design and scripting so I can start drawing the comic by the summer holidays. Basically want to have everything ready by then. What well, should we just make that and then not start the comic itself? <laughs> no, no, I will. I hope. Um, yeah. Uh, one that is much less the Lulu is um, basically keep uploading on YouTube. I mean, I've been doing that consecutively for about was it now two or three years? Let's say two and a half. Um, well, regularly is a thing. For some periods I was updating, uploading every week. Uh, by now I'm on a schedule of every other week and it's been working well for me, especially because of the holidays I have. I usually pre-produce most videos or at least some of them in the holidays so that it gives me a bit of a cushion so I can keep up the schedule. And the thing is, I really want to keep being active on YouTube because I like making YouTube videos and talking about random stuff and sharing my art. And I feel like YouTube is probably one of my favorite platforms, if not my favorite platform. Probably is, yeah. Um, I know it has its ups and downs, but I feel like just being able to babble around and condense that into a thing that is vaguely understandable and slap some art in it and upload that and people actually looking at it is nice. Like, I, I get to share my dumbest thoughts. Well, I also have some goals for school. Um, well, I mainly for one want to do well in school. Like, it's kind of a duh situation. Um... But I also feel like uh, it's a graphic design school, by the way. Um, my progress in advancing in graphic design, I feel like, has a bit um, steaded down. So, like, no, it's not going backwards or downwards. It's just being like, if imagine a graph. And initially it went up, and now it's kind of plateauing. Well, not really plateauing, it's still going up a little bit. But I want to put in a little bit more effort to have it move on more because I want to be good at my job, you know, and yeah. So basically my plan was during holidays and breaks to make fake designs for non-existent clients, basically. Like, you know, when I draw, I also draw when I don't have a client, obviously, because it's my hobby and kind of, yeah. But I also draw when I'm not making a video, for example, or when I'm not posting, so I can keep up my drawing skill and improve. And I have not been that with graphic design designs. Yeah. Um, so I kind of want to make mock-up designs of like an OC band, because like that rolls right back into my art OC storytelling obsession. And probably makes me think about it less like I'm practicing something. It's just playing around. At least that's how I plan on kind of tricking my brain into not thinking it's work. <laughs> that's also what I do with studies. I feel like. Um, I also generally want to get back into commissions. Um, towards the end of the year, I've been kind of laying off with that. Like initially, I started off pretty well. Well, pretty well. Um, I mean, I need to think realistically. I am in 
full time in school and I have other obligations. But like commission every month or every other month would be nice. Like I need, I need clients, I know, but like if I have an offer to take it, basically. Uh, speaking on money, I kind of want to get a summer job again because I really liked it. It's kind of, it gave me a bit of structure and I get some experiences in the job world. And I feel like that always makes for a good, like, it, it's always a good thing to put in your resume being like, hey, I had a summer job. Even though it has nothing to do with the job you're actually working as. Yeah. Um, because that also plays back into school because I want to have my study trips be fun because next year we'll go to London. Last year was uh, Paris. And I also want to kind of work back up sort of to my um, savings that I lost to my driving lessons, still losing to my driving lessons. Well, I mean, it's an investment, I know, but still, I, yeah will probably make me feel a little bit less anxious if I have some of my savings back up. Like, it's, I'm not out of savings, but I like to have a buffer. For what? I don't know. Just like having it there to feel more secure. Um, now I know those are not too many goals, but this bitch is busy and I need to make them accomplishable. Like, setting some attainable goals, because if I just set them and fail all of them, that will be very discouraging. So I'd rather want to start off with a bit of, with a bit fewer goals and actually be able to accomplish them and be like, whoa, I can get shit done. Because I feel like it, it, that makes me feel better. And if I feel better, I'm more likely to accomplish more goals. Oh, hopefully, that's at least my theory. Um, yeah. And well, if you want to see if I can accomplish them or not, um, and want to see the things that I do to accomplish them and and the, the, the products and stuff, um, I would recommend you follow me. I also have some other socials linked in the description. Not active on all of them, like very active, mostly active on YouTube and TikTok, to be honest. But yeah. If you want to join my journey, gladly do so. And maybe if you have some cool goals, let me know what your goals are. And I hope to see you in two weeks again. And until then, I wish you a wonderful time.